um, yo, um, so, um, I'm like a couple hours off of my strive stream that I just happened, you, I think, uh, I, I think it already went up on YouTube as a actual video, uh, already, <laughs> and, um, you know, after that, I just started been watching YouTube, right? And I saw like I saw like three videos, um, um, three videos coming from uh, some creators. Um, we got Optimus, a really cool, really cool guy, um, you know. And then Jayuna, uh, yeah, my favorite uh, content creator to watch. Shout out to you, Jayuna. And then the Panda Fighting Game Channel, and um, something that it, it got me worried. It it's it's literally like the most coincidental bullshit that um I saw these three videos in the same bench like not in a row but like in the same bench but with Juna uh, I seen the Juno one first cause you know that's my favorite content creator that's obviously what I'm gonna watch first and you know I was just benching some of his videos and I saw a video of him going over a clip of a guy you know saying <laughs> talking about he was like talking about like popular games like Fall Guys it, I, I guess the video was made when like Fall Guys was popping cause like you know he was he, the the guy was complaining that the people in the video were were good at Fall Guys uh, they like day three or some shit like that I don't remember but you know yeah that was it and then Juna said or like no the guy said <laughs> not Juna the guy said this is why everyone's quitting Fortnite Call of Duty all that you know all those popular games and those games are dying and I was like, damn. And then Juna made a great point where he said, it made me kind of sad because what if the same thing happens to fighting games? Because if the most popular games are dead, just uh, just imagine the, the fighting games, bro. Just, just, just imagine. If, you know, video games die, you know, there's no fighting games out there for us to play. You know, pain. And I was like, damn, that's sad. Please, bro. Please. And like, you know, fighting games are hard, and yeah, all that would be yes. You know, fighting games, hard fighting games, yeah, yeah. I can't play fighting games because they're too hard and stuff. But, it, it, you know, it, it, yeah, but, you know, it, it was like, damn, bro, what, what if fighting games someday just die? And then after that, I saw a video by the Panda Fighting Game channel, and it, it had, uh, I think they were trying to guess the... The Steam, yeah, the top played fighting games on Steam. And one of the games on there, oh yeah, I forgot to, forgot to mention Sumo Gaming's video, yeah. I saw that video um, a couple days before. So Sumo Gaming made a video about Jump Force, but we'll get into that later. Anyway, uh, the Panda Fighting Game channel uploaded a video where their, their roster, um, or teammates or whatever the fuck, they had to guess the Steam charts for fighting in the most played fighting games and it and fucking the there was like jump force and uh what was it the demon slayer game i don't know what the real title was demon slayer was on there and, you know the normal fighting games this one strive sf5 world combat 11 you know all those fighting games are on there but you know it got me thinking you know but if I look back at that one Sumbo Gaming video, <laughs> the fucking, if Jump Force is one of the most played games on Steam, and fucking Sumbo Gaming was struggling to get matches in fucking, in Jump Force, but it's it's one of the most high, highly played fighting games on Steam, you know? You know, it it just like, it's it's kind of like making me sad, you know? Like, what what if that happens to this game? What if that happens to Strive? What if that hap- what if- you know, what if games just die, bro? What if all video games just die? You know, and it's not like, you know, fighting games are the only genre of game I enjoy. It's it's my favorite genre, and, you know, I don't really enjoy team games where I have to team mech with other players, unless it's, like, not against other people, you know? Like, it takes two, like, I, I appreciate that kind of game, but, like, Call of Duty, that that game, no, nah, no, nah, those games aren't fun, like, Fortnite, like I, I can't, I can't play those. I'm sorry, those aren't fun. <laughs> I, I had to say it, guys. You know, I, now normally I don't, I don't talk about games I don't like. If you know, if I don't like them, I don't talk about about them. And if I ever do have to mention it, which is now, I usually just tell my reasons. And you know, it's the toxicity on those games. 
Now, when I talk shit on this game, it's, uh, you know, uh, I'm better than you because I'm by myself and I'm playing it out and you're also playing it out against me 1v1. You know, that's that's the thing. But the issue is, if you're, play if you're playing with a team, fucking teammates swear it's always your fault. And I'm like, damn, bro, I can't get better in here. You, you just want to win every time, but, you know. But anyway, back to the actual topic. <laughs> not not why I despise other genres of games than other you know, and then fighting games. Anyway, so then you know, it was like it was like Jump Force is dead. You know, some old gaming was saying Jump Force is dead. We're like some not specifically Jump Force is dead. I don't want to put words in that man's mouth. Some old gaming is a fantastic content creator and really funny and it really everyone enjoys some old gaming. <laughs> And like Jump Force, yeah, they were t they were saying Jump Force was ass and it was dead. And like, you know that ass game, which I enjoy by the way. I'm sorry, I had to say it. I enjoy Jump Force. <laughs> um, if that's on the highest played Steam charts, then you know, and it's about to die. Then what's gonna happen to fighting games as a whole, bro? It's just like, damn, I'm sad. And then after that, I actually just started this video. I was I was using the restroom, and then I pulled out my phone and started watching YouTube. You know, because <laughs> you know I needed to use the restroom. You know, which, you know I was benching and then benching YouTube. I went to the restroom, pulled out my phone, and first video that popped up was a video by Optimus and the failure of a game by the name of Battlefront 42 2042. And I had no idea this game existed. Um, I've never played a better battlefield game in my life so you know i was like wow you know, i just like optics why not why not give him a chance you know why not and then yeah it, it they were like this game is trash this game sucks you know i'm not even finished with the video they're they're saying the numbers are abysmal and there's like 10,000 people on steam playing the game and i'm just like damn that's more people playing the game then people are playing this game on PS4, or not PS4, on PC probably. <laughs> that that's more people than there are in Jump Force. <laughs> it's like it's like, bro, bro, please. And like you know, I get it. You know, the fighting, the FGC, you know, relatively small, but also can be big if you really count other people specifically in this game and it's like you know this game is alive and well street fighter 5 alive and well you know this game is doing well but when you think about it you know some of these games are just gonna die away maybe maybe but you know it, it'd be like that you know but this game is this game is only alive because it has dragon ball characters in it uh, i'm gonna be real um if this game didn't have goku and this guy that's fused with goku and vegeta then it, it wouldn't survive, you know. This game, this game would probably be like Grand Blue. <laughs> this game would be like Grand Blue, cause you know, fucking, what's it called? What's that game called? Fuck, forgot that game's called. It's a great game, a Killer Instinct, Killer Instinct. You know, that game is fantastic. People, people say that game is amazing. Everything, rollback, that code, fucking, all that shit. You know, <laughs> fucking. Shit, you know, everything you want from a fighting game, Killer Instinct did it. But but no one plays Killer Instinct. But well, we're going to talk about how good it is, though. <laughs> but, yeah, the only reason this game is staying alive is because it has Goku in it. <laughs> it has Goku in it, so it's, you know, if, if people love this game. Because... <laughs> You know, getting your ass kicked by a Killer Instinct character, you know, it's not fun, but it is fun when Goku does it, so, you know. <laughs> but, you know. Damn, just thinking about it makes me sad. Like, I don't want fighting games to die. And on top of that, when you really think about the develop the people that are developing the games, they're making these games continuously and continuously easier. And I'm not complaining about that, you know. It just makes it to where, you know, I can compete, you know, with you know top players as well you know i can you know sing you know, instead of having to sit in the training mode for 15 weeks you know i can i can sit in the training mode for 30 minutes learn a combo and then go online and then get better progressively from that <laughs> you know it's great
and yeah it's just like are these games gonna die or are these games gonna kill themselves and I'm just like do people care this much about winning <laughs> oh god I'm just it, it's, it's it's making me sad bro just thinking of, thinking about if fighting games will ever die and, and it, it's sad but we do have some good things some glimmer of light hope for example this game getting more DLC but that's also a double-edged sword because you know um, you know I think this is the last DLC pack for us because <laughs> you know Bandai Bandai doesn't like rollback netcode obviously <laughs> Or, wait, does Bandai... Bandai does Tekken, right? Bandai's... Yeah. They they added it second. They can't for this game, probably. Maybe. <laughs> you know. It'd be like that. And, you know... It, it's making me sad, bro. Just thinking about... Dead fighting games. You know. And there's already fighting games that are fantastic. That are... Dead. Quote-unquote. Even though there's still players. For, for example, like... Um... Multi blood, like the the old, not type lumina. Type lumina, oof, R.I.P. That game, that game sucks. <laughs> it's a bad fighting game, but I, I enjoy it though. You know, Shiki keeps me playing that game. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> you know, multi blood. That game is dead. <laughs> multi blood type lumina. I, I gotta find, I gotta do, like, I gotta find, like, I gotta play at a certain time of day to get a match. <laughs> uh, if y'all haven't seen Sonic Soul's video, then, you know. Mm. I think I wanna make another video, cause I don't know if y'all like these videos where I just sit down and talk to y'all about shit, but, you know. Fighting games might die. <laughs> and, you know, <coughs> pe people saying that Jump Force is dead. Now, literally, it is gonna be dead, like, later down on this year, cause the lobbies are closing down and stuff. I should probably make a video on that because I should make an anniversary video for the um, me just sitting there and complaining about the boss fight. <laughs> oh god. Where I made a video. Yeah, I did a video where I redid the boss fight, right? Yeah, I did. I did. But yeah, I'll do something about that. Maybe, maybe I'll do a Jump Force video again. Who knows? But <laughs> yeah. Hope y'all enjoyed me being sad, thinking fighting games might die someday. Oh, wait. Yeah, I just forgot. The only fighting games that might actually survive are, like, NRS and in fighting games that have, like, Goku in them. Or, like, Naruto in them. Or fucking... I don't know. Just, uh, Seinfeld. The Seinfeld fighting game. <laughs> you know, shit like that. <laughs> but, like... NRS, maybe Street Fighter, but like no one, no one really plays Street Fighter like that anymore. Cause uh, I, I don't know. All, the old heads, all the old heads, they're, you know, they're gonna die soon, bros. I'm sorry. Uh, that was a that was really fucked up for me to say. It, it's true though. But like when when I ask <laughs> when I ask like someone at school if they play fighting games, they'll they're like meet me in Mortal Kombat. And I'm just like damn. Okay. Yeah. I got a nasty Scarlet, aka a projectile, projectile, projectile. <laughs> Man. But like, Sue, if the fighting games do survive, um, this this epitome, uh, fighting game or not fighting, not just fighting games, that video games are dying because tryhards exist, then you know, um, yeah, I feel like the only games that might survive are. Games like this and NRS. I, I don't think Street Fighter will survive. Because when I, when I ask kids, when I ask other kids at school, if they play fucking fighting games, they'd be like, meet me in Mortal Kombat. I'm like, damn, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, soon enough. Yeah, soon enough. Video games might die. I don't know, man. It, it's a bold statement, but... The way that the way that kid said it, this is why people are quitting Fortnite, Call of Duty, all that you know, all those popular games, because tryhards exist. And like this game, fighting games are built strictly on getting better and getting tryhard. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's crazy. It's like, what will games die because of that? 
and I don't know, but maybe, maybe fighting games will die. The casual fighting game players will get mad at us all they want and stuff. But yeah. The only glimmer of light we have is Evo and Sony. <laughs> but thank y'all for watching. Uh, I'm going to do another video after this. Um, I, I think I'm just going to record it off my phone because, um, we're actually, you know what, I'll just do more tweets. Fuck that. <laughs> we're, no, I'll record it off my phone. But basically, it's about my Ethernet problem. And, you know, if anyone sees the videos, please, please watch. Please watch. <sighs> please watch because I need a lot of help. I want to compete in fighting games. I want to compete in this game. I want to compete and strive. All that, you know. I was watching. Oh, no, let me not ramble too much, cause I need a, I need a ramble for that video. You know. Um, yeah. Thank y'all for watching, guys. Um, peace out.